Hi, I'm Cal, an application engineer here at AGI, and today I'm going to show you how to use a sensor pointing file to model sweeping and scanning sensors. So oftentimes customers want to use sensors that might be scanning the sky in a search pattern or sweeping the ground, and this is an easy way for you to specify the pattern that you want to follow once, set a repeat flag in the sensor pointing file, and then have this pattern repeat in perpetuity in your scenario. So now let's move into the SDK scenario that I've created already. And here what we can see is an, an aircraft flying along, and I've modeled a sensor sitting on this aircraft that's going to sweep laterally uh, 20 degrees in each direction as the aircraft flies along. So as we animate, we can see this happening. And this is all being specified by a sensor pointing file, and this will repeat in perpetuity uh, for the remainder of the scenario. And the sensor pointing file, as I'm going to show you here, is incredibly simple. Um, all you need to do is specify your begin attitude, the number of attitude points you have, set this repeat pattern flag to yes, and then you can specify the pattern you want your sensor to follow one time, in this case in as L angles, but you can also specify in Euler angles or quaternions the path that you want your sensor to follow. So I've specified that once here with seven points, and all I did was load that sensor pointing file into the basic pointing section of the sensor definition. So for a slightly more advanced version of this feature, I'm going to show you a scanning sensor mounted on a facility. You can think of this as something that's searching the sky for any objects that might be of interest. And this has been specified in a very similar way to that aircraft sweeping sensor that we just saw. So here I have a facility on the ground and a rectangular sensor looking up at the sky. And as I animate forward, you'll see that this sensor is following a scan pattern across the sky. So it scans laterally, moves vertically, and then scans laterally again. This is a pretty common searching algorithm for a sensor that's mounted on the ground to be searching the sky for any potential objects of interest. And this was created with a very similar sensor pointing file, although slightly more complicated, of course, but it's the same idea. I specified a coordinate axis these, this time, and I'm using Euler angles with a 1, 2, 3 sequence and this repeat pattern flag. So this pattern is being repeated in perpetuity on my sensor pointing. For more information about the sensor pointing file format, what you can do is you can open up the properties of, your, of a sensor, go into the basic pointing section, select help, and this will always give you a contextual link to a point in the help that's very close to what you're looking for. In this case, I'm in sensor pointing, I'm going to click on external, and then I'm going to go take a look at the file format, which can be found here. And here I can see the sensor pointing file format help page, and it has all of the detail about each of the flags that can be set, the different types of attitude that you can use. So here we have quaternions, yaw pitch roll angles, Euler angles, and as L angles. So please check out the help if you need any additional assistance. Thanks for watching, and as always, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us at support at agi.com.